Tom Donnie here, Fort Dodge, Iowa. Going to talk today a little bit about sob heads. Everyone likes to grab a head and the first thing we want to do is we want to throw it up on a, on a mill or something and cut a whole bunch off and give us higher compression. And you can do that and you can have a lot of fun, but you have to be careful going too much compression on these old two strokes. We're running most of the time uh, pump gas at a station and the octane is very low and it won't tolerate much over 10, 11 to 1, you're going to start melting pistons. So if you're having piston problems, you may want to physically CC your head and your uh, block and see where you're at compression wise. But when we do cut these heads down, um, you need a starting measurement. And what I've done is I've gone through about 40 heads and I've got oh, with an average measurement. Now this is the thickness of the head, 2.280 thousandths of an inch. So I can take a caliper here and I can just measure the thickness of this head and see how thick it is. This one's about 283, 2.283 thousandths of an inch. This is an NOS GT750 head that uh, is obviously new. Then we, we grab a head here. This is a long nose head and you can see this area where the pump goes is actually thinner. There's a stock one that hasn't been cut down yet. And what guys do when they, they set these up, they, they start machining and they machine the area where the water pump goes it gets that really thin. So you have to be careful not to get that too thin. That'll cause you an issue. What we do with them when, when I cut them for myself is we'll come in here and we'll put a head gasket down and make a line so then I'll leave this area virgin and don't actually cut it. I just cut the head area that needs to be cut down to match the block. And that works pretty good. Then you're not ruining the integrity of the gasket area on your water pumps. I have seen those leak. The other thing that we can do here is we actually, this is a head we made. We left it stock and we've completely filled it, we spray it full of aluminum, fill it completely full, and then we recut little tiny pockets for when we run at Bonneville Salt Flats, we can go with a lot higher compression than what we normally would with our high octane fuel. Um, but again, this is a real quick way to tell if I've got a, a head that's been cut down. You know, if I check this head here and see what it is, you know, it's 2.147, uh, so it's been cut off 140 thousandths, which is pretty common. On the bullnose head, you can tell too by the thickness of this land. You can kind of see the difference between the NOS head and this other head that I'm here that's been cut down. But this ridge here will be thinner, be a narrow, narrower strip, and then I can tell right away. Again, these are telltale signs real fast if you grab a head, has it been milled down. And again, here's your starting spec. This is a plus or minus 10 thousandths. I think it's a pretty good number. Um, NOS heads back that up. But then at least if you've got a head, you can measure it before you start to cut it and see what the compression ratio might already be. So if you're going to cut your head down, measure it first, compare it to this measurement, see how much it's been trimmed off already. It probably has been trimmed. Again, the telltale signs are on there for the thickness. And then go ahead and cut off whatever you think you want to make your high compression sob motor. Again, be careful because you will blow stuff up. This is Tom Downey from Fort Dodge, Iowa, signing off.